current in Nashville that this is probably the same Absolutely. situation Absolutely. everywhere. That's why we wanted to approach it from that perspective. Well, Nashville is a little unique in that, number one, we're in the South. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, it's approximately 21 thousand people living with HIV in the city. Mm -hmm. About 200 people get infected each year. Mm -hmm. While HIV in Nashville is down by 30, approximately 30 percent, mm -hmm. and it has been over the last four or five years, mm -hmm. we still are the 22nd city, mm -hmm. number 22 mm -hmm. in the United States with the highest uh, HIV rate. Mm -hmm. And that's due to poverty, being in the South, lack of education, mm -hmm. lack of a pro uh, appropriate health care. That's a lot of many reasons. Mm -hmm. Drug use, and, and uh, drug use is a good segment uh, segue for what I need to say now. Mm -hmm. Right now, although uh, needle exchange is not uh, legal in uh, Nashville, mm -hmm. We know that needle exchange reduce HIV rates in the injection uh, drug use population. Mm -hmm. So street works, you know, uh, we just had to be proactive on that on that front. So we do provide uh, sterile syringes for people mm -hmm. who are actively using. While we don't condone drug use, mm -hmm. we do know that they're going to use drugs whether they have clean needles or not. Yeah, uh -huh. So in order to reduce HIV infection rates, we provide uh, mm -hmm. sterile syringes for people who are actively using, but we also offer them information and try to help them mm -hmm. move to uh, get into drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And we so we do that. Also, the same thing with hepatitis C. Hepatitis, we have probably 50 or 60 percent hepatitis C positivity rate in our testing. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you mean when you say? Uh HIV and uh, this, you've got another disease that you're, you, you hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. Now, what is that all about? Hepatitis C is a disease that affects the uh, liver. Uh -huh. So people would have, like me, I had hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. The good thing about me, and, the, and I'm just been blessed by the Lord. I was able to mm -hmm. uh, uh, stick around, or the Lord kept me living long enough mm -hmm. to see. Uh, uh, a medication that come through that was that people could tolerate. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, when I first came on the show, I had hepatitis C, but the only drug they had was interferon, mm -hmm. and it was horrible. People would rather die than to take that mm -hmm. drug, and a lot of them did. Mm -hmm. But now they have a new drug on the market that clears hepatitis C mm -hmm. in. 12 weeks, you take the pill for 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Granted, I'm, 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 I'm still blessed because I'm a veteran, mm -hmm. but the pill cost, that 12, that 12 week supply of that drug cost $96,000. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a veteran, You're I was able, able to get, get it. Uh -huh. And most, a lot of people is able to get it too. One way or the yeah, other. Yeah, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. I, but there are still several people that that drug is out of range for them. Mm -hmm. But thank God that I, now I'm cured of, of, of uh, Hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of my friends died with hepatitis C because they had cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also, the other thing is, uh, uh, and, we, and we can get, and, and people uh, talk to me about all the time, aren't you promoting drug use? And I say, look, mm -hmm. no, we're not promoting drug use because we give away clean syringes. Mm -hmm. They're going to use drugs anyway. One way or the other. Uh -huh. Whether they have to use a sterile syringe uh -huh. or whether they share a syringe with somebody else, they're going to shoot the dope. Mm -hmm. And my job is to keep them healthy long enough mm -hmm. that I can get them the help that they need mm -hmm. through drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we do needless change. The other thing, the other, uh, and I, I was going to say, yeah, Nashville is uh, the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Number 22 in the country, the country. Uh -huh. for HIV infection. Mm -hmm. We have approximately, I said, yeah, 21,000 people. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, what's the reason we can see uh, the, uh, end. the end of AIDS mm -hmm. is because they have a uh, a new, they have a new uh, 
intervention called PrEP, uh -huh. P-R-E-P, mm -hmm. and that's pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the morning after pill. So now people in high risk situations, mm -hmm. and it's particularly uh, men who have sex with men, mm -hmm. they can take a, uh, a drug called Truvada mm -hmm. and it will prevent them from getting HIV. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, hey, you know, go out and have unprotected sex mm -hmm. or, or, you know, but what I am saying is that undetected viral load with, with PrEP, mm -hmm. that's, how, that's why we can see it now. Mm -hmm. Because people with undetectable viral load, which I am a person living with HIV and have been mm -hmm. since the 80s, my viral load is undetectable, so the chances of me transmitting HIV to a sexual partner mm -hmm. is slim and none. none. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say slim and none, they done done studies and there's been no zero conversion mm -hmm. among discordant couples, that means one positive and one negative couple mm -hmm. uh, with, with undetectable viral load. And it, it's, it's strange that on my way here today to do this show, they was talking about organ donation mm -hmm. of people who are HIV positive. This is how we know HIV, mm -hmm. uh, the end of AIDS is near, uh -huh. because now HIV positive person can donate, donate. Uh -huh. an organ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They can, not only can they donate an organ, they are now receiving organ mm -hmm. before they wouldn't even give, give a, the blood. I mean, not yeah. the blood, but a, they wouldn't even give a HIV positive mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. an organ because mm -hmm. they were like, "Oh, he got HIV, he gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. Why would we give him an organ?" Mm -hmm. So, man, this this is really some exciting times in the HIV AIDS world. Okay, and so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this final commercial break, uh, Brother Carter. Okay. Uh, uh, Crowder. Crowder, and then we're going to, I know, uh, <laughs> yeah, Crowder, I know. And, I know. and then we're going to come back and we're going to have our final okay. segment. We'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. All of the conversations that we had with it, all you know, used to be moaning and groaning yeah, and rough yeah. and stood and yeah. telling people this and whatever and et cetera. And then you come in and a 